Sound like some Viking music, don't it? <laughs> yeah, gotta get it out the mud, that's the only way to win. Who am I to point the finger like I never ever seen? Been through the ups and downs like the letter in. They don't let you through the door, better kick that again. Cause that's the only way to win. That's the only way to go, gotta get it out the mud. Gotta get it out the flow. Cause that's the only way to go, let's go. Shoot. Lights out. What's going on, good people? On this lovely Friday, August 9th, 2024. Today's been a crazy day. Yesterday was a crazy day as well in the Olympics. And yeah, I kind of feel some type of way for a certain group of individuals that was repping Team USA today. Man. But hey, I'm here to talk basketball. It's the main topic. But I will get into other sports like track and field as well and other stuff. But I'm not alone, ladies and gentlemen. Joining me is the man who's has agreed to join me throughout these Olympic coverage. He is the man of the morning show with Cole Johnson on the BS3 Network, Call Me Media. My good brother, Cole Johnson. The morning shift is in the house. What's up, Playmaker? I have mixed emotions right now. Okay, fine. Why you have mixed emotions? I'll sit back and listen. No, we 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 gonna get there. We gonna get there because okay. it's actually it, it's part of the it's part of the show too. So okay, okay. I, I made sure I had to go through this because this. You know what? Let's just jump into it. Let's go around the Olympics. As we go around the Olympics, let's start from what happened yesterday, shall we? Mm-hmm. Kelly Ledecky and Nick Meyer to be carrying the flag for the closing ceremony. Those of you know, you already know about Kelly Ledecky, one of the most decorated swimmers in USA history. Nick Mead, he gets the honor because in the gold medal event that we didn't have on our bingo card, Kayak Rowan, he was part of the team that took gold in Kayak Rowan. I think that was sometime last weekend, if I remember correctly. So it was a nice nod to him. Mm-hmm. In any event that we didn't, I don't think me or you or anybody else had on a bingo card, Cole. No, uh, rowing is the only time you ever hear any mention of rowing with anything U.S. related would be, I don't know if we're talking about Harvard or Yale. And that's one of the things that that the nerds or uh, the, the intellectual elites do to unwind. That's the only time you hear anything about rowing when it comes to the United States. Not gold medals. All right, let's hit to track and field. No allows. Won the bronze medal in the 200. And then medical staff had to attend to no allows. Trying to figure out what the heck was going on. And then reports came out through NBC Sports that uh, he had contracted COVID two days prior. Oh, now, oh, okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Now, on a serious note, I hope he's okay because he does have asthma. So, him getting COVID with asthma is not a good mystery. No, no, no. That's the, no. There's nothing to play with. But how in the world you almost doing cartwheels when you get introduced for the 200 meter final, and because you get bronze at the end of it, you had to be wheeled off. Explain yeah. that to me. He did have to be. He was in a wheelchair and they wheeled him out. Explain uh, that to me. Oh no, let me do let me do a far con style. Talk oh, to man. me. No. Why you had to go there? <laughs> Why you had to go there? <laughs> Nevertheless, if this is to be true that he did catch it COVID two days prior and he still ended up winning bronze, kind of amazing what a dude has asthma when you actually think about it. It's made even more amazing, as I said. He he, des- he decides to he decides to expend his energy during the intro, and then he has nothing left in the race. So one who has asthma. Hey, hey, status for the uh, relay oh, team. Was... Oh, but but I but I do hope I do hope your figure nails are painted wonderfully, Noah. Yeah, Lord. 
Speaking of speaking of not doing what yes, that's to a do, shot at you, Dwayne Wade. Speaking of not doing what he's supposed to do, the, our women's water polo team bid for a fourth consecutive gold medal ended in the semis to the Australians. These Aussies were were serious about making the U.S. Um, sweat and take L's in the pool. <laughs> hey, our good brothers in the chat. What's up, wise? How you doing, wise. sir? Yeah, we about to see each other later on today. What's up, my brother? Oh, Glad well, to see you, man. I can't wait. I, I need to put that on my list for sometime this week coming for me. Tell me. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Australia won in a, in a penalty shootout six to five to end the, the run for the United States in women's water polo. Mm, that one stings. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but at least they'll go for a bronze. So you have that. Speaking of speaking of teams and women's. The women's volleyball team shut down their arch rival Brazil in, in a very competitive game. Five setter. It, it, it gets no more competitive than that. And you knew it was gonna be five setter because this is mm-hmm. this is the rivalry of it's unf- women's volleyball. It's unfortunate that this was a semifinal and it's not the gold medal gold medal game, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Glad that the U.S. women were able to hold off their biggest, or I should say, probably their toughest challenger again in the second straight Olympi- uh, Olympiad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what they do. Good job, Team USA. That's trying to go back to back for Olympic gold. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations to the women volleyball team. America's Tyra Davis Warhol. Oh man, she showed out last night. And Grant Holloway secured gold medals in their tracking field events. Holloway took the long jump. I mean, now Holloway took the four, the one hundred and ten meter hurdle. Mm-hmm. How do you, how do you even measure one hundred and ten meters to be with? Mm-hmm. He said one hundred meter, two hundred meter, four hundred meter. Somehow they fit fit one ten in there. No, they know how to do it, so I'm not going to complain. And Davis Warhol, the long jump. Mm-hmm. She had already won it, but she wanted to go for the record. And I think yeah. she got the record, too. She got the record, uh, like, midway through. And uh, she was trying she was, she was trying to go. I think she I think she got the Olympic record midway through. And she was trying for a world record and, and missed it. But, hey, she showed up, showed out. Because I think the first jump just about landed her the uh, gold medal. So, yeah. Tara, Tara did her thing. Tara did her thing on the launch out. So, Tara and Grant handled business on the track, which we are thankful for. That was two more gold medals for the Team USA. And there's, oh, and there's no other. This woman here. Ooh. Go ahead, Carl. I'm going to let you have this one. Man, Sydney McLaughlin Mephron, she smoked the field in the hurdle. I mean, it was ridiculous when they got to the turn, which basically is like halfway through the race or the, or she's not halfway, but like maybe two thirds of the race done. I mean, she already had a comfortable lead. And then when that straight away to the, to the finish line, man, it was like she had rocket boosters to her. Just she, man, smooth race all the way through. And this woman, again comes away with gold because she came away with gold in Tokyo. She comes away with gold again here. Yeah. Not only, not only did she come away with gold, she broke oh, her she, own she record. Bro- no, yeah, she broke her own record for the sixth time. And I'm thinking, doggone this woman. And she ran she ran that thing in almost 50, almost 50 seconds. It was just a tad bit over. 50.37. She was trying to run it in 50 seconds. And I'm thinking if she if she messes around and she actually decides she wants to do this one more time in LA, but she she is, might be the is, first woman to she might be the first woman to run the one was it the uh, 400, 400 meter hurdles? She might be the first one to run the four hundred meters in under uh, four hundred meter hurdles. If she than goes to seconds. LA and she runs that in fifty seconds, the Coliseum might collapse. I mean, the, the St- Stade de Paris almost collapsed when she did when she did what she did in there. And I don't blame them. I would have too. I mean, she, who? Yeah, she, she, she stunted. There's, there's no, there's no twist about it. The this woman, this woman, own, this woman owns that event. No questions asked. 
And the crazy thing is, everybody was hyping up the girl from uh Netherlands, the one who hopped down our midst four by one hundred team mm-hmm. to take gold. She was in this race, and she was no competition. No, well, but no, that's that that's that that's no misnomer. None of the other seven were competition in this in this race with her. I mean, I mean it. it it was almost the same thing as seeing Katie Ledecky in that fifteen hundred meter uh, gold medal uh, uh, race, where you saw her touch the wall, and in the screen there was no swimmer near her. It was almost the same. Like I may have seen one runner, maybe a second, <laughs> in the screen when she crossed when Sydney crossed the finish line. She smoked the field. I'm like, dang, yeah. All right, that's all. That's a guess. So let's go to today. Men's volleyball team. Good job. Good job, baby. Good they job. got bronze and they did it in straight sets over in, over Italy. All three sets was close. But when it was time to close out, the men closed that out. Yeah. Good job. Good job. I'm I'm, I'm glad they're gonna come away with the medal. Uh too bad they couldn't get gold, but it's understandable. I know they're not the best team in in, in volleyball, but come away with a bronze as deep as the as deep as the volleyball team uh pool is for the men. Congrats to them. So the men's four by four hundred relay team advance and Quincy Wilson's first Olympic race is the sixteen year old who began the leg. Now, congratulations to you being an Olympian, right? But I, we might need to make a change because the other three men they had to really stretch to get through to the finals. Mm-hmm. That, and especially after what I saw today, which I would get into. Yeah, we gonna we gonna need somebody in that front leg to really jumpstart Team USA. Putting a sixteen year old in that spot, Pipe is asking for too much. These are the times we come from boys to men. Get another run, get another run. And speaking of that team, the winners for my one. Oh, um, that's a, that's a, that was a good set way there, sir. That was actually a good set way there. Thank you. The sir. women's four by one hundred team they took home gold. It was a little struggle at the beginning, but when you had Sha- Shakari Richardson in it to to anchor the final leg, even even with her even with her silver in the one hundred. Home home girl is the best closer. If she doesn't have to, if she doesn't have to start from the blocks. She's the best closer right now in women's uh, in women's uh, um, track and field right now. That woman can close a field, close a lead, or open a lead in the open in the opens uh, straight away, better than anybody. So, to have her as the anchor, good job with them. That's why they got the gold. So yeah, congratulations to the women four by one hundred meter team to get that gold. Don't think I forgot the men's four by one hundred team. Let me take this down, you guys. Cook, 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 playmaker. Cook, 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 playmaker. How many times can y'all get to the finals <laughs> of the relay and continue to have the same problem? <laughs> what is up with y'all in this first exchange? Well, you have to understand. I mean, the the baton exchange it could be a bit difficult. Yeah, oh, oh, and congratulations! When, when, to, and congratulations to Canada for taking the gold in that. In, in that. In, in when that when they needed to qualify, they ain't had no problems. It was smooth sailing. I watched the. I watched that heat. It was smooth sailing for them. It was like they wouldn't even try. No, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was smooth sailing. But you know, they get to the finals, and it, it compounded it because of the whole mix exchange. Guess what? You end up getting disqualified anyway. Palms get sweaty, backsides get tight, <clears throat> and in this case, in this case, the palms probably are like rainfall. I mean, hey, it, it, unfortunately, it happens. You gotta be kidding me right now! You ain't even metal. Ah, the U.S. Is, the, the U.S. failure, the latest in a long series, as they have not won. Or come away with a gold medal in twenty-four years. 
And y'all was the heavy favorite to win. And you had the best lane. You was in lane five. Canada had the out lane. Which is like the worst lane to have, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, eight or one. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No, they went to nine. They had lane nine on that one. Oh, nine or one. I should say, yeah. And yet, the first exchange with the baton is always y'all detriment in the finals. I don't understand. You would thought by now y'all would understand how to do a simple exchange. Well, now they have to do a simple exchange when there's 80,000 people watching them during the Olympiad. They probably can do it with the world's. They probably could do it in the U.S. trials. They just have an issue when they see the five rings. I don't understand it. I I guess it's... You asking asking my question. I I guess it's just the bugaboo that that the the, the men's 4x100 team still have. And they've had it now for two generations. This don't make no sense. By the way, uh, Spencer uh, Lee... The wrestler for the American came out with silver. Just coming up short in wrestling, losing four to two to Japan. So Japan won win goals in men's wrestling. That's cool. We take silver. But yeah, that four hundred, that four by one men's team really like get another run. Oh no. Get some runners. Get some runners. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <clears throat> Even though I hit the wrong button on purpose. <laughs> All right, before we take our break, China's back on top of the gold medal count, 32 to 31. You know why? Because somehow, how many tennis tables tournament can you have in one Olympics? Well, how many batons can you drop? That too. <laughs> and uh, can we send somebody over to China to figure out what they're doing in diving? Because diving is oh, just there. They, they, they own that event. Dive- and, and, and they look beautiful. Um, sidebar. I, I watched um there was there was uh it was like ta- uh, I don't know what they call tag team diving. I forgot what they call it. But I watched it. The American the American team was really good. I mean they were really good. But that Chinese team whew, out of the ten dives, I think they only missed one. But it seems as if the more difficult the dives were, the better they performed. Oh gosh, they they're awesome. They they are beautiful to watch. Ooh man, diving is that looks like that takes a lot of work yeah. to be able to dive in the water without it coming up. That is, I didn't know that was possible. I didn't I didn't know it was possible either. But the the, the, the event that I saw, I was like, how is it that? I would think you get fatigued diving off the board. And those Chinese women, the more times they went in the pool, the less splash they, they garnered when they got into the pool. I was like, how is this possible? <laughs> Water do not come up when they dive in there. I'm like, like doggone. What are they doing? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're awesome, man. The, the, the Chinese and diving has been, has been almost like how the uh, Australian women have been with uh, with the speed events in the pool. Yeah, I mean, all right. Now that I got my ring about the men's four by one team, and I'm still steaming from that because we're talking a lot of years and we're talking about about what four Olympics, including this one. And the we still four one hundred team drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, and drop they still like dropping it. God, I just don't understand. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're gonna take our first break, and then when we come back, it's the reason why we're here: the Team USA basketball. Which now I get to smile and have fun. Drop it low on. I, I <laughs> love you, you <laughs> morons. You kiss on the block. 
<laughs> new edition, dear whatever the law firm is. <laughs> Sincerely, the U.S. Supreme Court. <laughs> ben Affleck, <laughs> Matt Damon, go f yourself again, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Join Ryan McCarthy. I became a Jets fan because Kurt the Frog was my favorite Muppet because he was green. And the Jets wore green. That's how I became a Jets fan. And Dustin Henry. ESPN is cashing all in on let's pay a few personalities and we'll just kind of fill in the gaps. As they walk you through all of the world of sports from their perspective. The Albany Empire, it's a literal circus. No credentials required. Where, Ryan... Say the tag. Where you don't need a press pass to talk sports. Every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central on YouTube and where you can find all podcasts. WWE Shop is your online source for all things WWE. Be a part of the site, man, and score wrestling gear for big events like WrestleMania or SummerSlam. From current superstars to legends, from Raw to SmackDown to NST, don't miss this chance to shop for the most awesome WWE merch. Shop for the best deals as well as WWE gift cards and say big on your favorite items. WWE Shop at Fanatics Experience. Cool McCain. You thought you wanted to go through against Chad Gable, but you didn't. And I'm going to tell you why. Chad Gable would take everything that Gunther's done and bury it. The Playmaker. It was on site. AJ Styles walked out there seeing LA Knight. Oh, okay, nigga. LA Knight hopped out the car. Let's go. Break down everything in TNA, AEW, and all of the WWE programming. Join these two gangs. Monarchs of Wrestling, live every Monday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern, 5.30 p.m. Central on the Play Caller Sports Talk YouTube channel. Join the transporter to Hades. Your butt and gut becomes one. Join the reformer of hooker whores. This is my daughter, Placenta Booty Johnson. Join the bronze car. And ever you are in distress, mm -hmm. take off your baseball cap and throw it in the air. Join your very own superhero of broadcasting, Chris Bass. So whatever color the crown they get, they palm it and do two circles, <laughs> and that translates to, I can be the black people. As he takes you through the week's paces in Baseline. Live every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Central. <laughs> no, Pacific Time Zone people, just stay asleep when this is on live and just catch the recording. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Exclusively on the Chris Base YouTube channel. All right, welcome back to Shining Lights Up. And I play those set of commercials on purpose because I wonder why it's to echo my feelings about that four by one men's team. As in F everything Boston, really? Yeah. F everything the four the men's four by one hundred meter team. Yeah, they, that, 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 they keep doing the that, same that, thing. But it's like the definite thing is to keep doing the same thing and expect a different result. It's called insanity, yes. They keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Well, I mean, they're going to have to try to do the same thing and they will have to expect a different result. What, what are they going to do? Uh, do they have to be like Lester Hayes? They have to pl uh, uh, plaster stick them on their hands? I mean, what 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 did, what can you do now? Now they go back to the they have to go back to the drawing board yet again, and say it again. I don't think they heard you. Yeah, they had to go back to the drawing board yet again. Only this time, when they do this, they'll be doing it on their home soil, 
come this time in four years. Please do not do the same thing in four years. Oh my gosh. I mean, then, my I said, not that I think about it, that adds even more pressure on them. It's amazing that it has only been four years since the last time the Olympics were here that they actually won the four by 100 meter race. <laughs> Man, I it has been not. that long. We talking nineteen? That's nineteen ninety six. Now they wanted they won it in the Olympiad after that, but since then, two thousand four, two thousand eight, two thousand twelve, two thousand sixteen, two thousand twenty one, and this year. Don't even matter. They six just... straight, six straight Olympiad where they have done nothing, either in the final or. And the heat, where they don't even qualify done, for the final. They done nothing. And before, didn't even qualify for a medal. And on, on Monday show, I gotta ask a question about Jamaica. But I'm gonna say that for Monday because I don't know what happened to Jamaica. I got a but nevertheless, Team USA basketball. We are in the semifinals for both the men and the women. And the men kicked it off on yesterday at 3 o'clock on NBC and Pika against Serbia for the third time. And if me and Cole know anything about sports, no matter what the sport is, beating a team three times is really hard. Very difficult. It's very difficult. Oh, my gosh. Um, There was a lot of people. With itchy trigger fingers. Oh, no, you about to get real into it. Okay. Real itchy trigger fingers. USA was down 17 in the second quarter. They were down, what, 13 at the end of the third? It was. I mean, that's, um, look, y'all can say whatever y'all want about the Serbia team. When you can hit 60% of your three pointers. That's that's hard to that's hard to that's hard to stop. <laughs> I'm like, do these do even miss? Do they miss anything? Like, I'm just like, they are hitting almost every shot. Good mm-hmm. gracious. Well, you got your you got your answer to the fourth quarter. And we and we talking like hands in their faces, they still hit. I'm like, mm-hmm. it's one of those like, man, just throw your hands up, like they not missing. <laughs> mm-hmm. But you know how people are, Cole, because me and you are in the same you know, social media groups. Mm-hmm. They were ready. They were a lot loaded and ready. They had every, they had every round loaded. So oh, come yeah. for Team USA. Oh, gosh, they did. Yes. And and this was despite Steph Curry going off when we started the game. Like, Steph Curry, he dropped 20 in the first quarter. And you were still down double digits. <laughs> Splash. Second quarter, much the same. Couldn't do nothing. Going to halftime, down 11. Down 13, that's Cole mentioned in the fourth quarter. Down 13 going to the fourth quarter, and Steph Curry's at 27 points. Does that make you see? Does that make any sense in basketball? <laughs> um, yes, it does. You a lot of basketball, so have I. Because if you have somebody who has scored that many points, but you're down that many, that means others have not contributed. It was one of those, and then the fourth quarter happened. And when the fourth quarter happened, the defense got turned up. Yeah. Defense got turned up, and the OGs of this team USA rose. Yeah, they rose. Steph all, Curry, all of them. you. Yeah, all of them did. Yeah. Joel Embiid stepped up. Mm-hmm. Kevin Durant stepped up, and LeBron James found the role that he needed to play for this game, and he played that role. Yeah, facilitator and a p- occasional penetrator. No diddy. To the point where Team USA overcame a 17-point lead to win 95 to 91. And guess what? That means Team USA is in the gold medal game. So... So correct me if I'm wrong. We we were hearing, uh, we heard from one source in our uh, 
BIB group. And we heard another source from another place that, well, one just said they won't meddle. Uh, another source that we are very familiar with uh, actually said, quote, Team USA men's will not meddle because of LeBron James. Close quote. Um, can I ask you? Can I ask you a question, Cole? Please, sir. If Team USA is in a gold medal game, what does that mean? That means the worst they can finish is a silver. So it hold means on. they will they will come out of Paris with a medal. Hold on, hold on. I need you to say that again. I don't think I don't think the people in Paris hurt you. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, now that they're going to play in the gold medal game, it means that. Team USA men's, and well, we'll talk about the women too later, but Team USA men's, they will walk away from Paris. They'll fly here to the States with no worse than a silver medal. Um, my question from yesterday still stands. What, 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 what happened? <laughs> what, what happened? Team USA not supposed to medal in Paris. What, what, what happened? <laughs> I think what we got a chance to see is that, yeah, this team is old in terms of its leadership and in, probably in terms of its talent, at least the talent that that is supposed to bring the others along. But I think we also witnessed that the talent is rather unselfish and they can bond with one another and you have just enough that if some don't step up, others will. I mean, it, it's time for it's time for us to actually say, that the men's team, they have some ballers on it. They, I mean, they're the deepest team in the Olympic pool. So, and, and I'm not saying it, and you know I'm not saying this from, uh, I'm saying this as uh, as recency bias. I'm saying this <laughs> from just looking at the team. And we would have been looking at this, this very team for the last year. Mm -hmm. They're too talented to have been medalists. So I knew that wasn't going to happen. My thought was, if they catch Serbia at the wrong time, they may not they may not get the gold medal. And they came very close to catching Serbia at the wrong time. But they caught they, Serbia at the wrong time for three quarters. But yeah, it's a full say, quarter yeah, sport. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But because to me that to me that was my concern. They, they you know, if Serbia comes with their best effort. Can the U.S. rise up to the occasion? Then, of course, they answered that question yesterday. It was yes, and, but and it took them three and a half quarters to do it. But that was that was my only concern about this tournament. It, and yes, I know you got you got the German team that that won the worlds last year, and you have France as the host team. But to me, my concern was Serbia. That was my concern. And you know, the fun thing is, I believe. I do believe there was some. There are some pundits that get paid to do what they do. That also brought up Serbia as the biggest threat to the Team USA. Am I, did I miss something here? No, you didn't miss a thing. So if I have people who are paid to do this, mm. and they own the big networks, mm. and then I have people on social media wanting to discredit Serbia, who was the other team favorite to come out the group? <laughs> it wasn't South Sudan. It wasn't Puerto Rico. I mean, you have, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, that other team in Serbia has the reigning defending MVP on it in the NBA. Oh, and, and, and by the way, did, did, did we not forget that Bardon Bardanovic is currently plays in the NBA? And he's a baller, too. Who was balling his butt off yesterday? The, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, he was. So while y'all sitting here trying to act like Serbia don't got no professional players, y'all might, y'all must go back and look at your history, your recent history, that is. Matter of fact, they won silver in the World Cup. Mm -hmm. This is a good team. This this is a good team. That's why I was like, I'm not I'm not going to say that it's a slam dunk gold medal for the USA. They're going to have to they're going to have to put together a stretch where they're going to have to show that they are a little better than Serbia. Because if Serbia if Serbia in the fourth quarter brought to part to them the way they did the first three. No, we'll be having a different conversation. Yes, we would be having a totally different conversation, but I'm not going to shortchange Team USA. They buckled down, they tightened up that D in the fourth quarter, 
And oh, like you said, Embiid, Durant, LeBron, and Steph were all key. And, and, and they and they all hit key buckets, all four of them, in the fourth quarter down the stretch. I want y'all to understand something. Y'all see how Team USA shot. 57.4% from the field, 50% from three-point range. Mm-hmm. And you look at serve, you see 46.5 from the field. You see 38 and a half on the field. Mm-hmm. In the third, after the third quarter, Ser- Serbia was shooting 55% from three. Yeah, that D was that bad. That D was that tough in the fourth quarter from the U.S. They went 0 for 9 in the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. That's why that percentage went down to 38. They went 0 for 9 in the fourth quarter. I mean, they... <laughs> I mean, the U.S. only allowed 15 points in the fourth quarter to Serbia. They, and while they scored 32 themselves in that last quarter, I mean they they were they were they meant business. They they actually took it serious, which that's been you know that's been my cry. I'm like, look, there's gonna be certain teams that's gonna want to knock you down. You better take it serious, and if you don't, they will knock you down and knock you out. And they took that fourth quarter serious. They looked at Serbia. They said, oh, you really want this crown? Okay, well, we got to show you that you can't have it. Right. That before, is the attitude I wanted this team, USA team, to have, and they showed it. Before we go to individual performances, why is this letting everybody know that Baron Down the Great Iron makes his Real Wise Radio debut tomorrow morning at 11? Yep, that's my college football podcast, and uh, I recorded the first episode this week. So those of you who will be listening to the Rise, Real Rise Radio on tomorrow morning, you'll be hearing me talk about the changes in college football and previewing the ACC conference. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Not you so sorry. All right. Now, the person we've been waiting on to have that signature game, the chef was on display from start to finish. 36 points, 9 for 14 from three-point range. He also had eight rebounds, which I didn't catch. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, he yeah he was all over the floor. He was one point shy from tying Carmelo Anthony's record for most points in the Olympic game. Who was in? Who was in Paris currently? Was, right yeah. now, as we speak. He was watching the game on. It, wasn't he? Um, he was uh, at the game. No, no, I know he's at the game. Wasn't he courtside at the game? Yes, that's what I thought. And that's who Bardon Bobby kept talking to. Oh Lord, yeah, Bardon. In front of Mello. I'm like, really? Why would you do that, brother? What? That's like that's like the that's like LeBron's brother. <laughs> I'm like, oh so you gave Carmelo ever mission to give to LeBron. Mm-hmm. And then when that third quarter and LeBron was like, okay, so this is how y'all want to do it. All right. Mm-hmm. And the entire team USA started to stepping up. That is which that's the example of poking the bear. I'm like, really? You don't want you really don't want those problems, Bodanovich. And you know better because you play in the league. <laughs> LeBron James with his second career triple double in Olympic play, 16 points, 12 boys, 10 assists. Joel B 19 points, eight from eleven from the field. See, these are the numbers outside of the four rebound, but these are the numbers Kobe want you to have. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because there's no excuse for a big man like Embiid, as skilled as he is, to play so small at times. I don't get it with him. And, and shout and out to Embiid because he went on a seven or run on and, his and, own. Yeah, on his own. And, and, and this is this is not this is not counting his injury. It's just there's times he just comes up small. I'm like, you're supposed to be dominating every every other team in the NBA. I think you should be dominating except for the Nuggets. And even with the Nuggets, you should have your way with you should have your way with Jokic. I love Jokic. I think he's the best player in the NBA. But let's be honest, Jokic is slow. And Beat is a little faster. I mean, you could take advantage of that, man. But he doesn't, and it just it it drives me up the wall. I I, I don't I I just don't get it with him. But yeah. in this game, he came up big. So I can't, I, I can't, I, I can't hate on him for this game. He actually showed up. He showed out in the fourth quarter. He had a couple of key buckets. One over, in, one over Jokic. Yep, he sure did. So Team USA advanced to the gold medal game tomorrow, and where they play France. 
Oh, and and and, and congratulations, uh, LeBron. I'm glad you notched your second triple double in Olympics play. But <clears throat> this is what I don't want to hear. When Serbia was getting on the U.S., I did not want to see bronze sexuals go quote. Look out! Please save us from that Serbian monster! Oh no! Close quote. I'm like, Lord have mercy. It's like it's open mouth insert joystick. I don't understand this. Goodness gracious. Uh, it, it. Hey, you know how they are. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I'm like, geez, yes, he had a gr- he had a great game, triple double. I'm not gonna hit on that at all. But it's like, good lord, there's there's 14 other guys on the team, Look, and oh that's... by the way, one of them was scoring more than twice as much as Yo Kang was in it. Hey, that's that one small section of the of the population. The rest of the population understood Chef Curry was in the building. Yeah, and this is what we've been waiting on. Chef and Curry that, to show up. Yes, and that jumper was wet. Thankfully, finally, and I, and I was hoping it would be. It was, and I'm glad that he actually had the signature game. And don't and and, and this isn't directed to you, playmaker. Don't give me the well. It's about time. Be quiet. Be quiet. It's not. It's about time. It's like what Yo Kang said when he said, "Quote, thanks to Chef Curry." I would not be playing for my second bronze medal. Close quote. And he also understood stuff got it going on. I don't need, I don't need to take over. Feed him. Yeah. Oh, he, he has that hand feed him. That's what you're supposed to do. But now it is Victor Rimbayana and France standing in the way of a fifth straight gold medal for the men's of team us man. That semifinal game between France and Germany, that was a good game too. That was a that was actually that was a real good game. Yeah, the world champions, they are kicking themselves because they know they should have won that game. Oh man, that, that rebound that, that Wagner had, he was he he actually was he was eyeing a bucket and he slipped and he car- he carried himself and the ball sliding out of bounds. And that was the play, that was the play of the game. I was like, oh man. I know you was I know and and he just and just then had a three point play before the the France miss and his rebound. I'm like, oh man, he was say, saying he was saying we about to go to the gold medal game right now with this with this board and this push up the court. Oh, that it, that hurt my heart when I saw that. And you say that was the play of the game. I'll say the to me. the shot of the game is Evan Fournier hitting the hitting the buzzer beater of the shot clock from about. 35 feet away. Oh, and and and, and I hope Fournier is is is, is all right because yeah, he he tried for a dunk and, and he landed hard on the deck. Oh man. No, I and, hope, uh, I you know, right. you know what the crazy part is, because I know how Kobe Johnson is, and uh, when he gets a chance to go after a big man, he does because that's what he pays attention to the big man more than anybody else on the court. Uh, but big uh, uh, sir, to, uh, they're supposed uh, to dominate on the floor. They're supposed to dominate the paint. Yes, sir. Go a ahead. certain four-time defensive MVP, uh, defensive player oh, of the year, uh, got bitched. Don't get stu- don't get me started on Gobert. He got bitched. He only has run because the NBA seems to love him because they think he's a great defender. Defender. You have all that height, and you are an offensive liability. That does not make sense to me. And that's why you got benched. <laughs> and they were right to bench you. You are an offensive liability. You're in the way offensively. And when you do jack nothing on defense, what's the purpose of you being on the floor? Oh, God. Now, I'm Go Bear where makes friend, me I ill. Where Go Bear makes me do. ill. Play Mickey makes me ill. Well, I wonder what they're going to do because they got Team USA. And Team USA can match up side for size. They need him on defense, though. They need they need him. They need that four time def- NBA Defensive Player of the Year self to come up tomorrow and show up and show out big for the home country faithful. Because if he doesn't, they if he if he doesn't, they'll just run right by him. 
and they'll, they, I mean, and I mean, right by him. And you know, the crazy part is his teammates on the other side. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm looking forward to see how Anthony Edwards responds in having a bad game. You know how he responds to the NBA to having bad games. Oh, he come out blazing. It's, That's right. Oh, he come out with a purpose. And I believe to me, you had you, you had the you had the veterans show up and they and they, and and basically saved the bacon. To me, I think it was Steph more than anybody. But you but in the fourth quarter you had you had the you had the, the veterans show up to show out. To me, now it is time for the Anthony Edwards, the Jason Tatums, the Tyrese Halliburtons. They need to show up. I think it's time for them to say, you know what? You, you know what, old men? We get it. We get it. We we didn't show up, and unfortunately with Tatum, he didn't even get a chance to be on the court uh, for the second time in the Olympics. Both games against Serbia, by the way. And and each in each of the time, each of the games is against Serbia. So he'll he'll see some time against France. I just I believe it is time for those three in particular, Edwards, Tatum, and Halliburton, to actually step up and say, "Okay, the torch has been passed. We get it." 2028, more than likely you will not be here. You, all three of you, talking about Durant, Steph, and and LeBron, more than likely you'll be retired. I don't think LeBron will be because I believe he would probably wait until Bryce can play so he can be the first guy to play with two of his sons, and then he will go off into the sunset. But I think it's time for Halliburton, Tatum, and Edwards to say, we got it. We got it. It's our turn now. And now we're going to take – you You took us to the game, we're going to take you to the podium. And that's what that's the energy I need to see from Team USA. All right, that is tomorrow, 3.30, NBC Pika. It is the gold medal game in men's basketball. All right, we're going to take a break here because when we come back, the ladies were in action today. Now you got a reason to smile. Woo! We'll be back. The largest egg producer finds bird flu and chickens at a Texas plant? Weather. Devastating tornadoes rip through the heart of the United States. Inspiration. A breast cancer survivor completed the journey of chemotherapy. And now begins a future one of matrimony or sports. Michael Jordan is shown on a photo with Diddy. LeBron James has a video extolling the virtues of a Diddy party. This has been yet another... <laughs> Beating a Dead Horse presentation. We got you covered. BS3 Network in association with Comey Media Incorporated proudly present The Morning Shift with Cole Johnson. Live every weekday at 8 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Central. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Into the Net FC. Killing it, Bappe just all of a sudden finally understood his role, and I think he finally understood that everything Killing it, Bappe has accomplished already, you know, there is still a hell of a lot wait, waiting for him in the future. Killing it, Bappe is only 24 years old. He has accomplished so much, and you know what? Kylian Mbappe has not even reached his prime. I'm finally seeing, you know, the Marcus Rashford we have been hoping for for such a long time, you know. But, you know, this game, you know, after after everything Manchester United has been, you know, doing lately, you know, th this was actually the ultimate test, you know, to see if Manchester United, you know, all, honestly was all of a sudden for real. I, I explain this. The United States, maybe they have to suffer this loss as a lesson to learn to prepare for the future. Because four years from now, the World Cup is in not one, not two, but three countries. The United States of America, Canada, and Mexico. Into the Net FC is available on all streaming platforms, including Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and YouTube. Shop hats and official sports gear at Liz. Liz is the leader and number one destination for hats, gears, and everything that moves you, making it the perfect shop 
for fans to find official sports hats, merchandise, and gear. Represent your team, your town, and your style with a snapback adjustable fitted hat or beanie from thousands of college and pro teams. Browse the very latest sports jerseys and t-shirts from the best teams out there. Liz has officially licensed professional and college sport team apparel and hats featuring the hottest brands and trends. Shop online or visit one of the 100 stores across the country. Locker rooms by Lids. Hey, Eagles fan. Join my man, Cool McCain, and a host of others as they break down every single game, every single week in an objective manner, and also from a fan's perspective as well. Remember, this cast feels just like you. Nobody likes you. And you don't care. Fly, Eagles, fly. (laughs) Eagles Elite Podcast. Every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern on YouTube and other podcast outlets. Poppy J. You got the option to cry for the government. You got the option to protest. You got the option to keep buying. But this is also an option. Wise El Jefe. We're the first tech geeks. We're the first gamers. We're the first everything. Everything. Like Gen X's, we are the ones. BS3 Network proudly presents the crew from the New York boroughs who never wants that smoke. Nah. They want that fire. Bobby J and Wise El Jefe, Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. Check your local listings for your viewing and listening pleasure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Shooting Lights Out here. And uh, your partner in crime had a couple of comments here. He said, Joel is slower. Joker. He said, Joel is slower. Joker is slower. He ain't lying. Let me let me let me look to see if I can find a light of what Y said there. Um, uh, I can't find it. <laughs> but but it's true. I mean, Jokic is slower than Embiid. Embiid is fast enough to where he's faster than Jokic. And he can take advantage of that, and he rarely ever does. He said, first and foremost, Captain Clutch should have been on the team. Oh, good lord! Let, 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 I got. I, let me, uh, this is going to be a real short, real short rant. If I hear Noah Eagle mention LeBron James as Captain America, I'm going to hurl. One more time, Playmaker. If he just says it one more time. I think that's our fault. I, we did. We we was the one that named him Team USA, and we knew who I, was going to assume that I, position. I, so. I get it. Yes, they, they they are the Avengers because they wanted to avenge the BS that we saw that was as late as 2023. I get it. Yes, and we actually did coin them the Avengers. I still believe that is what they are. They they basically were avenging the crap that they put forth for the FIBA <laughs> tournament. <laughs> And they wanted to erase that little bit so they could still say, well, we still are the beasts of basketball in the world. And what you saw last year with Germany winning winning the tournament and, and Serbia coming in second, no, that was just a misnomer. <laughs> That's why I said it's kind of awful. We actually started it. <laughs> Even though nobody wanted to give us credit for it, because we said as soon as as soon we saw the soon we saw the treat from LeBron came out. Mm-hmm. Oh, here we go. <laughs> and then it had to be pictured with Curry and Durant on the picture. I'm like, oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, true. Yeah. Captain America, Iron Man, and I don't know what you can call Curry. You can call Curry Spider Man. Okay, fine. Spider Man. Because he is the joke one out of all three of them. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, my like, Lord. And then he does like shooting from distance. So, mm hmm. But yeah, as soon as that tweet came from LeBron, we already knew it. Like, oh, here we go. Team Adventures for that simple. Mm-hmm. And now it's one 
almost exactly one year ago when that happened. So we had to start it last year. Mm -hmm. And as we got closer to the Olympics, it picked up steam, even though mm -hmm. nobody's going to give us credit for it. But hey. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the real team of basketball, shall we? Yeah. The, 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 the best one at the moment. USA women's basketball team. They played earlier today. It does say three. They switched it. They went to 9 30 a.m. It was supposed to be three. They switched it and gave that about two friends in Belgium, which is going on right now. But they played Australia earlier today. <laughs> Did they play Australia? <laughs> <laughs> um, all I can say is. Uh, Defense, defense, defense. They showed it against Nigeria in the quarterfinal, and they took it into this game. And I'll be dug on them ladies. Whoo! <clears throat> defense was on display from opening tap. Man. And then they let off the defense in the fourth quarter because they had a 30-point lead in the fourth quarter. Yeah. This is why when we, when we began this, that I said that I'm not even concerned about the women. The only issue I have is if you don't think that you are the best team on the court and you don't feel as though you can live up to that. Otherwise, you're the most talented team in the, in the pool. You're the best team in the pool. And when you're focused, you're the most dominant team in the pool. That's the only, that's the only issue I had. Do you know actually believe that. And if you do, you won't have anybody touch you. And yeah. um, yeah, one I don't think week. there's I don't think there has been a team in the Olympic in the Olympic tournament that has that has lost to them by single digits. Not one. They had one week to prepare for this. One week. You wouldn't think it. One week. They had the WBA All Star game when everybody lost their mind because Team WBA won. Mm -hmm. They went against Germany. They had they had to fight through some issues early up, but then they ended up running away in the second half. They went into group play, a very hard nose in your face type Japanese team, even though everybody was like five foot eleven. Well, and that's the reason why the USA was able to get over on Japan. They have they have size on them. They went to about with Bel Belgium gave them a hell of a run. Bel Belgium, I think they I think they gave them the taste of physicality and they rose to the challenge, which I'm glad they did. But, then they had a rematch with Germany, same type of game. But we seen y'all just about a week ago, so we know what y'all trying to do. Mm -hmm. Nigeria, good congratulations on making it to the to, to the quarterfinals, but you ran up against the wrong team. And then Australia, they could not handle that defense. No. When I tell you, in the first quarter, Team USA had twelve fast break points in the first quarter, and they scored twenty in the entire quarter. Mm -hmm. And they continue on. They open up the second quarter with a 10 or run. Next thing you know, they don't jump the jump up the 16 before you knew it. And there was no looking back from there. Jackie Young, Brianna Stewart, we can name them. It was just defense. Mm -hmm. By the end, by the end of the third quarter, Team USA had 24 fast break points. You know how hard it is to get 24 fast break points in the NBA or WNBA game? Almost difficult. It's almost impossible. Almost impossible. They had 24 fast break points at the end of the third quarter. Um, memo to Jason Whitlock, to Dave Portnoy, and to all of you dolts who were claiming that they needed to have Caitlin Clark on the squad. Do you think they needed her on it? Look at look at this. 50% from the field, 41.2% from three-point range. When, when, when did they need her? When? When, when did they need her? Because they're shooting well from three. They're shooting well from the field. They're out-rebounding teams. You know what? Hold on, hold on. Let me kill that other point that somebody's going to try to bring up. They made 34 baskets. How many assists did they have? 31. I was getting to that. 
of the 34 shots made, 31 were dimed. And she's a liability on defense at the moment. She was not needed on the team. And you could say, well, she could basically be a mascot. She would have played the Christian Leighton role back in 1992 on the dream. And y'all have been up and roaring. Like, and how y'all is about Jason Tatum? Just imagine Kate McClellan ain't playing. And about to say, and, and, and if you're know, about to say, yeah. I was about to say, and if you thought you was going to raise Kane about her not being on the team, you'd raise even more Kane if she was in Paris, but she was riding the pine. <sighs> you, you see this? Oh, uh, oh, 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 and by the way, in case you haven't been keeping count, 60 consecutive Olympic wins. Oh, this is 60? I thought this was 59. 60. Oh, this is 60. Okay. I thought it was 59. 16. I thought the next one was I did. 60. I did too. But when you did your research, you found out you made a mistake, which I did earlier this morning. So 60 consecutive wins. That's well, 59 over 60. That's impressive. They haven't lost since 92. They haven't lost an Olympic game in 32 years. That's impressive. And they ain't gonna lose until they. And the next opportunity I think they will lose will be in 2028. And I don't think that's gonna happen either. <laughs> Jeez. Ten steals. Now, this is in steals. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Now you want to talk about a stat that you don't see? You talked about fast break points, steals. You normally see double digits in steals. No. <laughs> You'll see double digit turnover, but most of them because it went out of bounds, mm -hmm. or somebody traveled. Mm -hmm. No, Team USA had 10 steals. Yeah. Then guess what? Their defense is off. Asia First Wilson. Oh. Asia Wilson, she did her damage on the defense end because you see the five brought, she had four of them <laughs> by herself. Well, I mean, best player, best women's player in the game. I'm, I'm, the, the, this, this should tell you something. Asia Wilson is the best women's player in the game today. And she she doesn't necessarily need to score. She can, and she does. But if there's other killers, she can lay back. And that is dangerous. When you have when you have a talent like Asia Wilson who's like, I don't necessarily need to score 20 on a team that I can pick. I don't know, a Brianna Stewart, a Jackie Young, a Sabrina Ionescu, and they can they can light up the board and put 20 on the doggone cells. What's the point for me in having to basically upset the apple cart and say, well, I need my points. Forget that. You know I can affect the game in other ways. You know, you know what the worst thing that, ha that has happened to the world? Jackie Young found her rhythm. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, with the game before and now this one, yeah. Jackie Young has fouled her rhythm. No, the, the, the final the game against Germany. Oh, yeah, the game is Germany. That's right. She led the way against Germany. She yeah, dropped 19 that. against Germany. Right. I've she got, was. Yeah, yeah. And we, we understand the spotlight gets put on Brianna Stewart for obvious reasons. And Asia wasn't for obvious reasons. Yeah. But if y'all go back and watch the Nigeria game, Jackie Young was the catalyst of that game. That, that's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah, Germany and Nigeria, she was, she was balling. And obviously she balled in this one too, but th this this right here should tell you guys how talented this team is. See, well, let me show y'all this. How many points Team USA scored as a whole? 85. And your two leading scores are right here. Mm -hmm. They combined for 30, which means where did the other 55 come from? <laughs> I rest my case. Everybody else that stepped foot on the court. That's what I'm saying. I rest my case. <laughs> like you crying and belly aching. Well, you need you need Kelly Clark because you need you need that presence on the court because people don't know these other women. Shut up. <sighs> oh, they know these other women. Brianna that's, Stewart, that's Brianna Stewart has why, been winning ever since she stepped in stepped foot in college. That's another reason why I say shut up. I'm like, come on now. So 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 we are just ignorant. We don't know about a Brianna Stewart. We don't know about a Jackie Young. We know about H. Wilson. We and heck, I'll, we don't know about Diane Taurasi. We 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 don't know about a we don't know about Brady Griner. We we don't know what these girls can do. What these women can do on the court. We, we're ignorant to the fact that they can ball. 
And down in Tarasha, she barely play and she don't even care. She's on her way to her sixth and final gold medal. She's, and that's the thing. She, she, this is basically like this is my last tour. This is my last stop. And I'm, and look, I get the best seat in the house. I'm watching the best, I'm watching the best team. And I'll say this right now on this mic I'm watching the best team in basketball, men or women play and i'm and i'm basically courtside watching it she's basically looking like i know the future is bright i know i can leave i can leave with yeah. the future still still intact yeah. i know that I, i'm passing the torch and the game is really in good hands and that's even before you get to caitlin clark these fools could just shut the day doggone miles man 60 consecutive wins and they'll go they'll try to make it 61 on Sunday between the winner between France and Belgium, which is a quite interesting game here. And see if I can get you an updated score real quick because will it be a double men's and women's U- USA France bout for France. gold medal? <laughs> I know France would love it. Or will it be a rematch between Belgium? And currently in the second quarter, France has a France has a nine point lead. So they ain't even reached halftime yet. Which is probably a good thing. That means me and Cole can go watch the second half and see who, who's gonna play Team USA mm-hmm. on Sunday. Yes, sir. And with that being said, myself, Cole Johnson, Megan Price. And maybe another guest, man, maybe another guest will join us to recap what took place in Paris on Monday when all the games are done, all the medals have been counted. Look, man, I'm I'm, I'm so excited about what what we're seeing. Uh, I think we're going to be in definitely for the men. We're in for a good treat. Uh, And by the way, France wants payback from from Tokyo. I'm about to say so. So France has motivation. I was going to say France has motivation because they played. They played in the gold medal round, the gold mm-hmm. medal game, right? In so France won the preliminary won the opening game, like how we played against Serbia this year. The yeah. same thing with France, but France took that one. Team USA came back, got them in the gold medal game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I rem- I remember th- I remember they did lose the first game to them. I remember that. And then the whole world almost crumbled on the USA because oh mm-hmm. uh, they lost oh yeah they lost yeah, to yeah. France yeah they lost to France and before then they I think they lost to I forgot which African country they lost to in the tuna before then like but the world yeah. was, the world was crumbling in the United mm-hmm. States they lost yeah. to an Olympic game so yeah you 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 have you have a country that once paid back for three years ago and you have a you have a brand new talent in Victor Wambiyama and they the host country too. They're the host country. You have Victor Wimbayama. You have a, 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 a talented guy in Evan Fournier. And you have that ridiculous grease spot that is known as Rudy Gobert. <laughs> did you call him a grease spot? Yes, I did. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm still going to clown spot. him. I'm still going to climb clown him in memoriam because he had the audacity to be on stilts when of all people Luka Doncic drained a three in front of his face he will never escape that for me never and he'll never escape the fact that he got bitch in a semifinal game in the Olympics <laughs> as, he, as he should because he was ineffective I mean, in his whole country do ineffective. I would bench him too. <laughs> but you are terrible for the home. You're, you're a bad representation of the whole country. Good gracious. So I'm definitely looking forward to see what Steve Kirk gonna do with these lineups with the gold medal game on the line. Well, obviously we're gonna be seeing bigs, so that's gonna be that. That's that's obvious. I'll say bigs, and I would try my best to get Wimbayama out of uh out of uh, position as often as I possibly can. That's what I would try to do. So, yeah, if that, we will see who will face the women on the other side on Sunday as they go for an eighth straight gold medal, which is unprecedented in any event in the Olympics. 
and with the exciting part about that is n- no matter which team, I think the U.S. can do their thing with either one. They can, ma- they can, they can match speed with teams. They can match physicality with them. It's a, it's an embarrassment. Literal, it's a literal embarrassment of riches with the U.S. women's t- uh, team. I love it. I love it, man. So we'll be back Monday. And those of you who are looking, Monday, you can get started with Cole Johnson, 8 a.m. Yes, to 9 p.m., 60 minutes with right. morning shit with Cole Johnson. Thank you, sir. Then you trip and- on down right back here, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're shooting the lights out, closing out the Olympics. Mm-hmm. And and many thanks to Playmaker for uh, providing the sports updates and the Olympic updates on the morning shift. Totally appreciate his contribution to the show. It is uh, extremely important, and I'm glad that he's willing to lend that support. It, it makes the show go better. At least for me, it makes the show go better. So I totally appreciate him and the Playmakers Blog Network for their assistance. So with that being said, Team USA, we got two chances to go mother in basketball. So let the world know we still own the hardwood. We miss you, Megan. Hopefully we'll see the queen of hoops Monday and you will see us Monday. Yes, sir. Enjoy your weekend and enjoy the Thanks. finals of the Olympics. You've done great, but you can't stop here. You can't stop now. You got to keep going. Through all your trials and your tribulations, you got to keep pushing. Now, finish your canvas. Yeah. Gotta get it out the mud, that's the only way to win Who am I to point the finger like I never ever seen Been through the ups and downs like the letter in They don't let you through the door, better kick that again Cause that's the only way to win That's the only way to go, gotta get it out the mud Gotta get it out the flow Cause that's the only way to go, let's go Thank you for tuning in today's episode If you want to follow the podcast you can follow on all streaming platforms Including Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher And a whole lot more this has been shooting the lights out.